Here is the fasting diagram I'm going to use for this piece of rough. And, uh, it's called Muskrat Susie by Mr. Jeff Connor. I guess you would say it's a uh, kite shape design. I'm cutting this piece of CZ today, cubic zirconia. Kind of an orange pinkish shade of color. Get it dopped up with epoxy glue. Okay, the epoxy is going to dry for the next 24 hours, and I'll come back tomorrow and start cutting this piece of CZ. Okay, we've got our stone and dop mounted in the machine. I uh, put on the 600 lap. Gonna get started with the P1 facets. Be cutting to a center point on 36 and 60 index settings at an angle of 44.77, which you can round off to 44.8 if you want to. Okay, P1 facets are these two here. Okay, that's what we look like here. Very first cut. It's cutting easy too with this, a good sharp 600 lap. It cuts easy. No need to go to anything more coarse than the 600 lap. Okay, I've still got some uh, more cutting to do before I get my center point formed. And I'm cutting three indexes. It's showing just 36 and 60, but you're, you've got to cut all four of these indexes. And then later, we're going to cut over those extra two. We're going to be cutting over the 16 and the 80s, leaving just 36 and 60 to be finished and polished. Okay, the center point has been cut. All four facets are at equal depth. And we can move on to the next set of facets. Okay, steps P, 1, 2, and 3 are all finished. Those facets are cut, so next I will move to the, the girdle facets at 90 degrees. Okay, I've got all the facets cut with the 600 lap. Next, I'll put on an 8000 lap and uh, get started on pre-polishing. I put on the copper lap and I'm going to use 8000 grit paste to uh, do the pre-polishing.
All right, we're pre-polished with 8,000. And we're going to do the final polishing on the bat lap with 60,000 diamond grit. Stone is finished on the pavilion side, so I'll do the dot transfer next. Okay, I've done the transfer. Changing to a cone dot. Once this glue dries, I'll start to cut the crown. All right, I'm cutting the crown facets and I'm using a 1200 lap for this today. I don't have a whole lot of material to, relieve, to uh, remove on this crown, so. That's what we're looking like right now. Okay, we're getting there on the second set of facets. I'm cutting that down so I can meet the other girdle thickness there, so I have an even girdle. I'm pre-polishing now with the zinc lap and 3000 grit polish. That's how it looks so far. Okay, I've polished the rest of the, of the crown and I'm now cutting and polishing the table facet which is the very last facet to do. Okay, we finished polishing our table. And I'll take the stone off the dop stick by soaking it in acetone overnight. <laughs> 